Good afternoon viewers at home. This is Mathematics with Dr. OJ. In this video, we shall look at application of arithmetic progression to business. So as usual, don't forget to click subscribe button below the video in order to subscribe to my uh, channel. And also click the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you will be duly notified. Thank you. For example, two posts were offered to a fresh economics graduate. In one, the starting salary was 24,000 monthly with an annual increment of 1,600 Naira. In the other post, the salary commences at 240,000 per annum with an annual increment of uh, 2,400 Naira. The graduate decides to choose the one with a higher heading in the first 25 years of service. Which one should we choose? Justify your answer. Okay, let's look at uh, the one you should choose. Now, there are two conditions. Is to choose between one, uh, is to choose between two posts. To choose one and leave the other one. So, in other words, what we want to calculate here is we want to know that there's the sum uh, that we accrue to him within the first 25 years if we choose one post or the other one. So that means we need to find the sum of the first uh, 25 uh, year salary is going to have. The first 25 year, year salary is going to have. Okay, now let's look at in the first post. In the first post, given the conditions for the first post, let's look at the first post. Uh, we are told that our the first salary is the, the first post that salary is starting from uh, 24,000 naira monthly. So that's 24,000 naira multiplied by 12. That's uh, 24,000 times 12. That is what? 288,000 naira. So that is the, the, the salary for the first year. And the annual increment, which is the D, let's say annual increment, that is the common difference. Yearly, the annual increment will be, that is common, 1,600 naira. I hope, I hope you understand that. I hope you understand that. Sure. Okay. That's right. That's correct. Now, let's now find the sum. Of this, and then the amount, the total amount of salary you will earn for the first 25 years if these conditions are given to you. That is a uh, n all over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 bracket d. So that will be our n here is 25 all over 2 into 2 times the first salary. That's a uh, 288,000 n plus 25 minus 1 bracket d. The common difference there is 1,600 there. Okay. So, now, what happens? Let's quickly solve that. What happens? So, this one is what? S25 will be 12.5. That is when you divide 25 by 2. Into bracket, um, uh, 288 will be what? 576,000. Then plus uh, 24 multiplied by 1,600. So that will give us 12.5 into 576,000 plus. So when you multiply, uh, you know, when you multiply 24 by 1,600, you're going to have what? 38,400. 38, you can check that. Okay. We have 38,400, so which implies 12.5. Then add them together. By adding, we are going to have 614,400. So we now multiply by expansion. The expansion will give us what? Um, 7 million 680,000. So in the first post or in the first job, as the case might be, the, our graduate will be given 7,680,000 Naira for the first 25 years. Now let's look at the situation for the second post. 
so as to be able to compare which one will fetch more salary. Now, in the second post, in the second post, okay, the the annual salary according to the equation uh, is uh, two hundred and forty thousand naira. Two hundred and forty thousand naira. So we have already been given uh, the annual salary. So we don't need to multiply by twelve again. Then the, diff the the common difference that is the annual increment in that one will be two thousand. 400 naira okay <clears throat> now for the first 25 years you will see what let's calculate that let's calculate that so that will be 25 all over 2 into 2 times our a here is um 240,000 plus 25 minus 1 bracket the d 2400 so this will be 12.5 into uh, 480,000, okay, plus 24 times 2,400. So in this case, we are going to have, we are going to have S25 will be 12.5, um, and um, 480,000, then plus 24 times 2400, that would be what? 57,600, okay? So that would be 12.5. Adding these and these together, you give us uh, 537,600, okay? So now we multiply. By the time we multiply, we now have what? 6,720,000 Naira, okay? So now, it is obvious that the economist graduate will hear more in the first post than the second one. Therefore, we now conclude. Therefore, the economist graduate graduate we hear more in the first post. Thank you. So that is that about that. I hope you understand. So please don't forget to subscribe to my video channel by clicking the subscribe button. Thanks and God bless you.